This time, it's stuck at the back of my throat. This time, it tugs at my chest. This time, I'm having a hard time letting it fall from my lips. A bittersweet honey trapped within this empty space where I'm supposed to say something. This time, it might just be the last time I'll ever say it this way. Yet, with anxious palms and unskippable heartbeats, I know it won't hurt. You see, I've grown comfortable with the feeling of tears in my eyes and thorns against my throat. The most painful farewells are often the easiest to swallow and remember, like the words we mutter when we run out of things to say or unceremoniously draw blanks. As our saltwater tears dry against the backs of our hands, I ask you to breathe and realize this isn't so bad. We've been here before, wiping oil and sweat off our foreheads, assessing the damage and putting ourselves back together again trying to find something made of wisdom and stardust to leave where we stand for someone else to find and deem worthy of listening to. And yet, when the dust settles and the smoke clears, we are the ones left waiting, carving moons into our palms, counting dollar signs in the dark, trying to keep our truths quiet. We were trained to be well-behaved, to reach for pre-positioned stars and dreams we didn't have. We followed the rules until we broke. Charcoal dust spilt against the walls, mistaken for canvases. We shattered into seeds for fake flowers to grow into gardens we would later abandon for fruit we've spent our lives waiting for. We forgave, we forgot, but we moved forward, traveling, in rays of sunlight and hope, we tread in the space between our past, our present, and the future you've designed for us. We grew in silence, for there was nothing left in our chests, our minds, our souls to expel. We're still all in agreement, we're all able to see that it's over, but it isn't. We aren't ready, but we are. The only thing left to do is keep going. Thank you. <laughs>